Hello everybody. Uh, good morning. It is Friday and I am up early because I did not sleep one wink last night. For some reason, I just could not sleep like at all. Um, It wasn't like um, a bad thing. I think that I'm stressing about a lot. School, you know, life in general. Um, excuse me if I'm whispering. My daughter is sleeping, so I'm trying to let her sleep. She was kind of tossing and turning all last night, so um, I just realized that I'm in a very reflective mood, and I didn't really realize how much I needed that, you know, and I wanted to come to you all to say sometimes you just need to step back and reflect on everything that's going on around you. Not necessarily respond, you know, you don't have to come up with any answers to anything, but just observe. <clears throat> Take the time to observe what's going on in your life and step back and realize the things you want and the things you don't want. And then decide to take steps. A lot of us react so quickly to situations that if we would have thought through or took the time to really look at, could have made a better course of judgment. Um, and I think a lot of times that's where a lot of our mistakes come from. We let anger and frustration and jealousy and all those negative emotions control how we react to a situation and it all boils it all boils down to fear of said situation you know and a lot of times we build up a situation that are thinking it's going to be so horrible and so uh, disastrous that you know, once we actually do it or get in the situation, we realize it was just a bunch of extra effort and energy that you didn't have to spend because it wasn't that bad. So I just did a lot of reflecting on um, a lot of things in my life and I realized some things that I need to change and some things that um, I need to work on. Um, one thing that's really bothering me um, is that we travel a lot and I find it hard to meditate and keep my spiritual uh, practices on the road. And, of course, I know everyone's going to say, oh, well, you don't necessarily need an altar every time you worship or every time you meditate or, you know. But for, for me, and this is probably like the weirdest thing, and I don't know why this is, but for me, it helps if that makes sense. Um, but I'm not sure how to put together a traveling altar. Um, I don't know what to put in it. Um, most of the time the rooms we get are non-smoking so candles and incense aren't really um, allowed. So what do you what do you put in place of that? I mean I know I could get like the little um, 
LED candles. And yeah, I could do that. Um, but how would I cleanse the area? I can't burn sage, can't burn incense. Um, so I, I mean, I'm having a little trouble with that. Um, so if you have any recommendations, by all means, please let me know. I've been racking my brain about that. Um, I'm also asking that you send prayers of abundance and prosperity to me and peace and healing. Um, I don't know, I guess the stress of school and life is finally getting to me. Um, as most of you know, I was in the hospital for three days with an acute Crohn's flare and um, you know prednisone is a miracle drug it'll make you think everything is fine and um, yesterday I started bleeding I'm not sure if I'm still bleeding um, I'm just really in a little pain from the cramping so um, when we get back to back home, I'm going to go to the hospital and hopefully it'll be okay and I don't need surgery or anything. So just pray for me that I'm healed and can get back to uh, being my normal self. Um, I don't know. It's just been one of those rare mornings that I'm up and I'm just really doing deep thinking, you know, like just deep thinking. So, yeah. So once again, if you do have any recommendations on the whole traveling altar thing, please, please give me some ideas and Please send all the prayers of positive energy and love and light and healing my way because Lord knows I need them. And um, other than that, I will be back with another video once I'm had my coffee and got myself together and did something with myself because I'm looking, I'm like Beyonce, I woke up this way, I woke up like this. <coughs> So, um, sending all my love, um, all the positive energy I can muster to you all. I hope you all awake with joy and peace and motivation and determination to make all of your dreams come true and know that you are divinely loved and there is nothing that can change that. And I will talk to you later on today.